fellow collectors, and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Shoto Double Cross Kamen Rider 03. As you can see, I got a fresh case here, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this open, and we can take a look at the case assortment here. So you can see in this set we have uh, Kamen Rider O's Tatoba, get two of them. Uh, Kamen Rider O's Gatakiriba, we got two Kivas. We got Kiva Emperor form, we got Ixa, Kamen Rider Ghost, Kamen Rider Ghost Boost, and then we have a kind of extra parts box. So I'll take one of these out real quick so we can take a look. So you can see it says Shoto Double Cross over here on the side. Not much going on over here. Got the breakdown over on this side. And then just kind of some pics of the individual here on the back. So not really much going on for the packaging. I guess I'll roll through these pretty quick. Here is Gatakiriba. And these actually can, you can take the parts uh, apart and swap them around to make different forms, which is really cool, just like the Soto Chronicle for O's. Then we got Kiva. I love that Kiva's pretty early on in this series. Kiva never gets any love, but he's here. We also get Emperor Form. And we get Ixa. And I believe he comes with an additional head for the kind of open visor form. That might be in the additional parts box. Common Rider Ghost. Talk about another rider that never gets any love. I know the show wasn't that great, but I always loved the suits from this show, so that's really cool. And then we're getting boost form as well. Very cool. And then for the uh, additional parts box, we're getting a ton of accessories here. So we have uh, O's sword, we have the two kind of mantis pieces for Gatakutaba. We have a whole extra leg for Kiva with the open wings for when he does his rider kick. We have the sword for Emperor form. Uh, we have the sword and gun forms for Ixa. Here's that additional head I was talking about. And then we have Ghost's uh, weapon for both sword and gun mode. And then this is the uh, sunglass slasher, I believe, for the boost form. So a lot of great accessories in here. Very, very cool. Really nice set. I'm really excited for this one. I'm going to go ahead and get everything open. And then we'll take a closer look. So here's everyone out of the box and fully assembled. And when I say fully assembled, all you really have to do is pop the heads on and pick what hands you want to plug into the wrists. That's really it. There's no stickers, no big assembly process. That's really it. They're pretty much ready to go right out of the box. We will start here with O's Tatoba. And this came out really nice. Honestly, the paint applications on the head look great. Really nice and sharp, nice metallic paint there for the red and the green. The emblem here for the chest, I think, came out great. You have these kind of like softer shoulder pads here. Nice paint here on these pieces on the arms. Now, of course, you are going to be missing some paint applications. And they didn't do anything with the driver, basically because you can switch these around. And so they didn't want to lock you into any color scheme. So they left them blank so that way when you're moving them around... They'll technically always be correct because they won't have any wrong colors. I can understand that. Uh, but yeah, they look pretty good. He does have the sword here as well. The sword does come in the extra weapons pack. But you can even see they have the uh, cell medals in there. I think that's pretty cool. Loaded up. So again, this does not have any paint on it whatsoever. But it's got some really nice detail molded in. If you wanted to paint it yourself, you absolutely could. So just all in all, I think he came out really great. We'll go through articulation real quick. So the head's on a ball joint. And this is going to be pretty much the same for everybody. If there's any differences, I'll point them out as we go. But head can look back a little bit, look down a little bit, certainly spin side to side, can tilt side to side. So a pretty nice range of motion there. Again, I mentioned these kind of softer shoulder pads. They will lift to get out of the way, so that's nice. Go pretty much about that high, forward and back. And then you have a bicep swivel there. You have, I would say, slightly over 90 degrees there in the elbow. And then the wrist, you can swivel around if you want. The wrist or the hands just peg into the wrist. And you can see that right now we have the folded up version of the claws. He does come with a set of like flipped out claws. So all you have to do is remove the fist, 
pop this off and then pop this one on instead and then put the fist back into place. And there you go. You have the deployed claw look, which is very nice. So you do have some option parts there and that looks pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and put the other one back on. You just slide it on very simply and then just peg the hand back in. And they come with a ton of different hand options. I'll get to those in a moment. You have a nice kind of abs crunch there, kind of like a there's a ball joint here. And you can actually pop this off. You can see here that there's a, a ball joint in there and that moves. But you can also move this at the waist as well. So there's kind of a second ball joint for this piece, as well as the ball joint in the abdomen. And this comes in handy when you want to do the changes, because obviously the legs here are all painted. And I'll show you if you want to, uh, you know, change the emblem up. I'll show you how that works. But just pop that back in there. Uh, so again, you kind of have a waist swivel, but it's all point part of that bottom ball joint. And then the abdomen ball joint. For the hips, you can actually pull these down. There we go. So you can kind of see how that slid up. And then this whole assembly slides down so that you can kind of get more use out of the ball joint. I feel like with O's, he doesn't, I think it's just the way he has his legs molded. He can't kick out to the side that far. Some of the others can definitely kick further out, but you can kick up like this. And then if you want to just push this back up that way, there's no like giant gap in this area. You have a thigh swivel there, definitely over 90 degrees there in the knee, ball joint in the ankle, and then they all have the toe swivel as well so again i think this is really nicely painted could it use more paint absolutely there's always going to be more paint they could have done but i think it's pretty good honestly i really like it i like it a lot more than i was expecting i had just done o's soto chronicle not that long ago and so when they announced this i was kind of like do we really need this we just got this in soto chronicle but i'm kind of glad they did because again no stickers no problems there He's even got his, um, the, wow, and I'm going to blank on the name of this. Feel free to point out how dumb I am in the comments, but <laughs> he's got the metal reader here that he can slide, and he does come with a hand option for that. I'll show that in a minute. And then he's got the little uh, metal case there on the side. So as you can see here right now, I just have him with a fist and then kind of an open gripping hand so that he can hold the sword, which is kind of cool. But he's got a bunch of other options, so let me bring in his little hand uh, piece. Basically what they do for each of these, they give you like a little base that you can plug all the extra fists into. And I can't remember, is this his? This one might be for Gatakiraba, actually. They're not that different, and you could probably switch them around if you wanted to. But uh, he's got kind of some open hands here for posing. He's got uh, two uh, weapon-holding hands, as you can see here. He's got a set of closed fists, but then here is the hand that has the reader in it, which is pretty cool. So basically what we would do is we would take the sword out of his hand, take this hand off, peg this in. And I know what you might be thinking, well, that doesn't look right because now he's got one on his waist and one in his hand. You can just go ahead and unplug the one on his waist and then you can do a pose like he is sliding this down. And I think that's really, really cool. That's such a nice little attention to detail. I really like that quite a bit. Sure, it would be great if there was some paint on these. But again, I get it. And that's just really cool. So you can pretend like he's doing a combo change. He's sliding that down. And I'll show you how the combo changes actually work as well. So let me go ahead and just put these hands back in here. And then I will peg this back on here so I don't lose it. There we go. So it's very simple. Let me show you got to Kiriba first and then I'll show you how the changes actually work. So let me move all this off to the side. Here is got to Kiriba. Again, looks phenomenal. Really love all of the metallic paint here on the head. That just looks absolutely fantastic. Really nice job with all that. Again, paint on the symbol here. He's going to have all the same articulation. I mean, as you can probably imagine, the lower half of the body is exactly the same for both of these. 
And then he's got the uh, pieces here kind of stored on the forearms, which is really nice. So if you wanted to switch these, if you're just switching the head, it's very simple. You grab a hold of the head, this pops out. So you can see right here that the you don't have to pop the head off. The head is actually you know, on the ball joint, and then this piece just pops right out. And then this little piece right here, you can kind of see the seam right here, and then it comes around. You don't grab, because at first I thought I had to grab onto this piece here. It's actually much higher up. It's actually up here. What I like to do, it's a little tricky, and you kind of have to get your nail in there, but kind of, you know, pop this like this, and then you can kind of grab a hold of this. You can see it's starting to loosen up. And this will lift right off, just slides over top of this kind of rectangular post there. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab this one off. We're going to get the nail in here and slide this out like so. And then you just take this, drop it right over top, and then pop this back in. Boom. And then we have that first combo change he does and I think the first episode, maybe beginning of the second one where he uses the um, Kamakiri, yes, Kamakiri metal. I'm really blanking on all my terms today. But there you go. So that's very simple to do. We're getting Latorata in the next wave, so that's going to give us even more combinations we can do. We can use a Cheetah Pants. So I think this is really fun. It's very simple and easy to switch. I like it a lot. I feel like it's even easier than the O's combo change from the Soto set. And again, no stickers. So fantastic. Now he has these pieces here. You can actually unpeg these, which a little hard to do, but you absolutely can do it. Just kind of rock it out of there. You can see again, just kind of another rectangular peg. Once that's out, they give you these kind of larger blade pieces that you can pop into the hands. And then he can wield those like he does in the show. What I like to do now the hand will hold them as you see there, but I kind of like to like let it rest in that channel. It just kind of aligns it better and he holds it a little better if you do that. So that's what I like to do. Not necessary 100%, but I feel like he just kind of holds it better. And you do get two of those, of course, so I can go ahead and pop the other one in here. So it's pretty comprehensive. I feel like it gives you a lot of options here. Oh, I forgot to pull this one out. That's why I'm like, where's the channel? It's because you didn't pull that one out yet. There you go. So he's got his two Mantis bladed weapons there. That's fun. I like that a lot. I really do. I like that a lot. And I can go ahead and you just stand him up. We can go ahead and put this one back over here if we want. And plug that right in and then it just kind of looks like he used these three now if you have to change the bottom ones because I didn't point that out yet if you're gonna be doing like say when Latorata comes out you want to add the cheetah pants to either of these what you would do is you would pop this off at that ball joint I showed earlier and then you would lift off both of these pieces you have to lift off both of these pieces because the bottom piece is attached underneath the middle piece not this top part, because again, that's connected to the first piece that we popped off. So you just have to kind of, again, it's a little difficult, but get your nail under here and kind of just wiggle that off or flip it right off. That's fine too. So you can see the two pieces and they are separately done there. So what you would do is you can see there are a couple of peg spots here. So there's this larger peg hole right here and then there's a peg here. So you can see these two pegs that were, actually you don't actually use that one. These two here go into these and then what you do is whenever you have the one you want to use, if you're switching it, take this and this will fit around that. So that goes there like this and then you can see the other three pegs here. You're just going to line that up and I have it upside down, pop that on. And then that will peg in. And so that holds the bottom one in place and the middle one. And then this piece is connected to the collar piece. So it's really nice. It's very comprehensive. It's very simple. Gives you a lot of options. Very easy to do. And as we get more of these forms, we're going to be able to make more and more combos. So I'm really hoping this continues 
does a really nice job with this. Very easy to switch them around. There's not a ton I can do with just two right now. This is about the most I can do because the pants are exactly the same. So it's kind of just pairing the different heads. But um, yeah, there's going to be more that we can do. And the accessories are great. I love the, you know, weapons here as an option. I love the sword included in the bonus pack. All the different hands. And I love having the hand with the reader so that he can look like he's in the middle of a combo change. So, And this is just O's. This is the first two boxes. And already I feel like there's so much play value here. They look great. They pose great. You can switch those around. Really, really well done. I'm so happy with these two. But let's get into the Kiva stuff. All right, so first up, of course, we have the man himself, Kamen Rider Kiva. Again, helmet looks really good. I will say the head feels a little large for the body. Not a huge problem, and maybe that's really just how Kiva is, and I'm misremembering it. But the head seems a little large. Not a deal breaker by any means. Just feels big to me. But it is beautifully painted. All of the paint here, you know, this nice silver, the red. This looks amazing. All of his hand options are painted red. So every one of these has been painted red. He's got the, like, devil horns he's doing there. He's got the grasping hands. He's got closed fists. He's got all those options. There's a ton of stuff going on there. Driver's beautifully painted. He's got the individual pieces here on the side. Again, they're not painted, but... Whoops, and I just popped them right off of there. You can just go ahead and peg them right on. But those are his little form change options. I'm really hoping we see some of his other forms in this line eventually. Because I feel like those forms do not get a lot of love. There have not been a lot of action figures for them over the years. And so I'm really hoping we get to see some of his other forms. Like, uh, what is it, blue and purple and green. The kind of like side forms before he went into Emperor. So, fingers crossed. But yeah, nice silver paint down here. Now, he does come with the other foot accessory. So basically, you kind of have to pop this off. Which can be a little perilous. There we go. <laughs> you just want to jump right away there. And then you go ahead and pop this one on. I don't like to do it a ton. Just because, like I said, I don't think it'll be a problem. But it's a little awkward to do. But now he's got the opened up leg. So he can do his rider kick. And it still has, you know, that joint there in the foot. It has the ball joint. And of course that's the same there. So I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. I'm going to try to pop this off again. Maybe I'll do that later. <laughs> but yeah, he looks good. He's got the collar and everything. Really cool. Really like the look of this guy. Accessory-wise, he doesn't come with a ton. He really just has the foot and the extra hands. Um, but you know, what else do you really need? That's what he does. He does the, the foot open bat wing rider kick. So let me see. I guess I would put this one down and I would bring this one up. So we'll get him in a, a rider kick pose here. There you go. That's it. That's what you need. And he's even got a little stand here, like a little stand spot on the back there. I don't have any stands handy, but you could definitely have him in a rider kick pose here. Really, really cool. I like that quite a bit. So yeah, I love Kiva. Happy to have them. I'm knocking these belt pieces off left and right, which is not great. But it's funny. I've never had trouble with them before right now. I'm going to slide his hips back up. They all have that gimmick where you can kind of slide the hips down to get some more movement. But yeah, very, very cool. Don't knock anybody over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, next up we have Kiva Emperor Form. This looks really, really good. And I think we all kind of knew this was coming because we got Dark Kiva, or Evil Kiva, I can't remember what that guy's called, in one of the Shoto O sets. So I think we all kind of knew this was coming. But he looks great. Again, really beautiful paint on the helmet there. Really looking sharp. All of this paint, driver, all the gold, the red here on the chest. You got this piece here on the uh, wrist. Again, I'm forgetting. It's been a minute. I'm forgetting the names of these drivers and accessories. But he's got the sword. Unfortunately, this can't uh, slide up and down. But it still looks great. Really looks nice. Nicely painted. He's got the cape. The cape doesn't move. The cape is kind of a... Not hard plastic. 
a little rubbery in consistency, but it's just kind of mounted on there, so that doesn't move or anything. But I don't think it's in the way of anything. All the articulation is what you'd want, and the same as the other figures. He looks fantastic. And again, this sword does come in the accessory box, so this does not... If you buy just the box for Kiva Emperor, you will not have the sword unless you buy the other accessory box. But it looks great. Really, really nicely done. Nicely painted. And again, he comes with... Oh, these are Kiva's fingers. Here... Here are the other hand options, and he's got the same kind of, I would say same kind of hands, but all painted in gold to match, so that looks really sharp. I like that quite a bit. Yeah, Kiva Emperor came out great. Really, really looks sharp. And then I'm really excited. I'm a huge fan of Kiva, but I also really, really love Ixa, and they did such a nice job with this. This looks phenomenal. The helmet looks great. Again, nicely painted. He does come with the open visor version. This is in the extra parts box. So again, if you buy just the box with him, you won't get this. But it is in the extra part box. And it looks great. They did a really nice job. All really nicely painted. Really sharp metallic paint there. We have the sword. Again, this is in the... As I knock it over. This is in the extra parts box. As well as the gun version of it. So you do get both of those in the extra parts box. Beautiful metallic red paint there. And again, nicely molded detail. Not painted here on the hilt, but it's all molded in there. He came out great. Same articulation as everybody else. Like I said, some of these can kick a little bit further out. I don't know why O's has such a trouble kicking out to the side, but... The other thing that's really cool, if I take the sword out of his hand for the moment. So, we have his driver here. And this is one solid piece, you know, once he pegs it in and connects it to transform. And that's painted gold. But, you can take this out. And he does come with separate pieces here. So, we have this tiny piece that can peg into his belt. And now I've lost it because it doesn't want to peg in. Let's see, am I doing it correctly? Yes, like this. Come on, man, this is like a, a comedy of errors here. Let's go, get this pegged in here. I think it's playing a prank on me. Okay, this is just, I've, I've pegged this in earlier and I had no issues whatsoever. Am I doing it upside down? Is that the issue? I might have been doing it upside down. We'll say that so I don't think it's haunted. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> we have the piece here. And then the other piece comes in the accessory box so that he can hold it because sometimes he would use this as a weapon. So we can put this in his hand. And kind of clip it over the fingers there. And then if you want to kind of simulate, you know, him transforming, it's a little difficult to do, but you can kind of get it in there like he's connecting it in it's not perfect but you can kind of mess with it a little better i just think that's cool again they give you options i think that's really neat that if you want to just you know peg the full piece on there to show that he's transformed you can absolutely do that if you want to have him use the one piece in the hand and connect just the other piece they give you that option and that's really great attention to detail i like that quite a bit now again this piece, the handheld piece, is in the extra parts box, but the smaller piece of the driver that just connects to the body does come with him. So just to clarify that. But he looks great. He came out great. All of his accessories are really nice. I'm really happy with this. This is the first Ixa figure I've ever owned, and I am happy to finally have a representation of that character because I really, really enjoy him. All the different people that wore that suit uh i really enjoy from kiva and then he's got some extra hand options as well not as many to choose from here he's basically got a close set of fists a weapon holding set and then kind of an open set so and again you have that open visor version as well so the o stuff was great the kiva stuff was also great but let's not count out the ghost stuff just yet all right last but certainly not least we have common rider ghost now, I know a lot of people don't like this show, but I maintain the suits always looked good. I've said that since day one, and I stand by that. I always really liked 
these suit designs. I will say, it seems like the eyes are a little too close together here. I feel like there should be a little bit more space in between. Not a huge deal breaker. From the side, it's not really noticeable. But beautiful orange metallic paint there. They have the hoodie here. Now, on the arms, the sleeve piece is, is hard plastic molded onto the arm. Here, it's kind of a softer plastic. You can see the hoodie here. I wish the orange paint continued down along the trim. I feel like that's not a lot. They could have done that. You know, they at least sprung for the silver to kind of go all the way around, which I appreciate. But that would have been a very minor addition that I feel like they could have done. But it's kind of a softer, rubbery plastic. But it's all connected to the top of the torso. So you can still move everything around that joint in the abdomen, which I really like, which is nice. Got the driver here looking pretty good, even without paint. I mean, I guess that is painted. I couldn't decide if it was molded out of this color and then they painted the handle black, but more than likely it's molded out of black and then they painted this. But it came out great. Looks good. All the uh, detailing here on the thighs and the shins and the forearms, I think, all came out great. Really, really nice. I like this a lot. I've never had candy toys for Ghost because they didn't do many back in the day. And what they did, I, I didn't really find anywhere. Um, I had one or two. I think I had like Deep Spectre and maybe one other. They did, um, the original candy toy line had the, like you could change the, the hoodies. I kind of think this looks better because then it gets bulky and weird. This is all just kind of molded on, looks good. Yes, you can't do any changes or anything, but it's a solid looking figure. Really, really nice. Uh, the sword here, again, in the combo box, also comes with the gun version of his sword. So that's another option that you have. But yeah, he came out great. I really, really like him quite a bit. And he's got the same articulation as everybody else. But even fancier than Ore Damashi. We have Boost, and this is crazy nice. <laughs> really nicely done. The helmet is beautiful. All that metallic red. You've got the metallic red here. All nicely done on the hoodie. You've got the Zenglass Slasher, which again comes in the accessory box, but looks phenomenal. Again, they didn't do the paint all the way around, which is kind of a bummer. But all the really nice kind of flame decals on the legs. All of his hands are done in metallic red. So all of the hand option pieces come in that metallic red. You can see kind of an open set of hands, closed fists, and then just some like posing hands and, and grasping hands. So I've kind of got this like posing hand here while he holds the sword over here. But he just came out so sharp. I really love the look of this. I think both of these came out really good. Um, I think the most recent uh, Outsiders wave has Spectre in it. So I have to open that up at some point. But there we go. I mean, that is a really solid wave in my opinion. I love the O's figures even more than I thought I would. The combo change is very simple and easy and looks great. All the accessories are fantastic. I love that. I love having the hand with the reader in it so that it looks like he's in the middle of a change. That's amazing. All of the Kiva stuff is great. I mean, we got Kiva, Kiva Emperor, and Ixa. That's fantastic. I would love to get some of his smaller form changes as well. Um, I don't remember. It wasn't like one of them Frankenstein and Merman or something. There was a blue one, a purple one, and a green one. And I always liked them. I thought they were cool, and I thought they should get more love. So hopefully, maybe one day, we'll see those in the Shoto line. And then, you know, two representations here for Ghost, kind of his base form and the boost form. I think they both came out great. The only thing I would change on those is the little extra line of paint around the, the trim on the back. Not a huge deal, but I, that would make them perfect for me. It's a really, really solid wave. Honestly, there are no duds here. They're all great. They're all a ton of fun. And I'm just really loving uh, Shoto Double Cross. Cannot wait for the next set. Because I know we're getting uh, Latorata, so we'll get some more combinations we can do there. I don't remember. I think Ichigo's in that wave. I think um, Double um, Joker, like just Joker form, is in that. Some others as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, they're really ramping up. I feel like every wave is better than the next. And I'm really excited for them to keep going. So hopefully this continues 
and we definitely need uh, some more O's forms and some more ghost stuff, I think. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.